Well, my next guest is on the Republican minority witness list for the Sotomayor Supreme Court hearings tomorrow. Dr. Charmaine Yost is the president of Americans United for Life and also heads up the website www.asksotomayor.com. Dr. Yost, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me, Shannon. Well, let me ask you first, how does one wind up on the witness list and what are you going to be talking about? Well, Americans United for Life is the legal arm of the pro-life movement, and so our legal team has been really digging into her background and her and her record on the life movement. And so what there's kind of a myth out there that she doesn't have much of a record, and yet we found quite a bit of material, and so that's what we'll be presenting to the committee later this week. And that used to be the number one topic for in recent years mm -hmm. for Supreme Court nominees. I mean, it's still a very heated uh, debate for a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. I know that Senator Dianne Feinstein has said, I've talked with her. I feel comfortable she'll right. follow precedent, sort of using code language, not saying Roe v. Wade, but what have you found? Well, you know, actually, Sotomayor's own statements, though, contradict that. She said, for example, that she thinks her personal characteristics will affect the facts that she sees. Shannon, that undermines the fundamental basis of equal justice under the law that Americans count on. So we're very, very concerned about that. And we've seen also, you know, outside of her judicial record, she spent, spent many years serving as the uh, chairman of the board and head of the litigation committee of a group called the Puerto Rican Legal Defense Fund that has a very, very radical pro-abortion record um, opposing things like con uh, informed consent, parental notification, bans on partial birth abortion. So we feel like there's really a lot of information that needs to get out there to these senators for them to understand that a vote for Sotomayor is a vote for unrestricted abortion on demand. And I know that her critics will say so much has been made of the Puerto Rican Legal Defense Fund. Right. Um, she was involved back in the 80s, but I know I've seen the documents and she was not only a member, but she was in leadership with the group as well. And you mentioned some of their controversial positions on abortion. Um, what else can you tell us? Because I know in her case record, mm -hmm. um, she didn't decide a lot of on-point abortion cases, but do you feel her links to that particular group are enough to uh, to give you a better sense of where she may go? You know, we've heard a lot of this. We've gotten a lot of this response, too. Well, it was a long time ago, and it was just board service. But I think it's really fascinating as someone who reports to a board. I mean, everybody's got a boss, and if, with a nonprofit organization, your board is the one that sets the tone, sets the policy. And so for them to be backing her away from that is, I think, very disingenuous. And frankly, Shannon, we haven't heard her herself mm -hmm. directly address this record of hers that is very radical and outside the mainstream of where American, the American public is. And I know a lot of folks are very interested and excited to hear from her when she finally gets that chance tomorrow after all the opening statements from mm -hmm. the senators. Um, but I have to ask you, being on the sure. witness list, you could become a target yourself. Uh, how do you plan to deal with that? Because you're not the one up for nomination, but certainly right. as you testify, I mean, there may be those who are hostile to what you have to say. We're ready. We are very ready, and we're, we're, it's an honor to be able to come before the, the committee and to bring the, our, our objective is to get the truth out there and to speak directly to the senators, telling them uh, the research that we found and communicating to them that, you know, there, there's this idea out there that there's a one for one substitution between Justice Souter and Justice uh, Judge Sotomayor. It's really important to look at her as an individual and the record that she brings to the court, and we're ready uh, to talk about that. All right, Dr. Charmaine Yost, thanks for your time today, and uh, we'll you. be watching the hearings and your testimony this week and Twittering as well. Thank you. Thanks.